In this video, we're going to talk about how you might want to organize if you have multiple sites or, or maybe multiple subdomains, and they're all kind of doing different things, but they all work together to achieve a common result. So in this example, you can actually see what we're talking about. We have like an example pet store and you've got dogs example pet store. And then my example blog site that might feed into that pet store. And they're all completely different platforms. Uh, maybe one's a WordPress site, one's a Shopify store, one is something else, but they're all there to achieve our goal of selling pet products. Well, if you want to see the interaction between these, so if you're sending Facebook traffic to the blog and then blog is sending over to the dog site, then you're going to want to be able to attribute the sales that are happening on the dog site to the Facebook traffic as it's coming in. And that's something called cross-domain tracking. So in order to set that up, when you very first start your analytics, when you go back into your admin section of Google Analytics, you will see under your property section, you'll see that in the tracking info, you have a tracking code. This is your UA, your property ID that will show up here. This is the number of your account in Google Analytics. That's where you send your traffic to. What you will need to do is this property ID, this tracking ID that's here, it needs to be the same for each one of these. So all three of these actually need to be sent to that same ID. So they're in the same bucket of data, so to speak, so that you can measure that crisscross. Now, there are a few other steps that are required for cross-domain tracking, but that is absolutely the most important one. Make sure that all the data is first going into the same bucket of data so that all the inputs, all the behaviors that you're measuring in your marketing are actually going into that same bucket of data. Then you would go forth and set up the rest of your cross-domain tracking. But at least at that point, from the structural perspective in Google Analytics, you've got that first step down and everything's pointing to the same property. Let me know how you're actually using the content in this video. Go ahead and leave a comment below and be sure that you are liking and subscribing to the CXL channel as well. That way you're notified of new videos. Jumbo, you have a tracking.